So Patrick, like how many times how many times have you, you know, been on the corn ferry, you've been on these mini tours and you got to a point where you said, I'm not doing this anymore but then just you the pull of the game and the love of the game pulls you back into it and you end up going back out there. Mm, I mean there there's a lot that you know, the this last year, year and a half. Yeah. There's a lot of times um yeah. that way. Um you know, but I'm I'm very competitive. I don't like yep. I don't like giving up Absolutely. so easily. Um Yep. You know, I, I pride myself like I've never withdrawn from a tournament. Um, you know, so I, I I like to see things through and so you know, that but there was a lot of times this year that you get really, really frustrated with it. Yeah. Um and you and you do question like, you know, do I need to be doing this anymore? Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm and I'm kinda at that crossroads right now. See, I mean, to be honest, I've had two good years and that's not played very well. You know, yeah. and thirty six years old and it's like, Okay, what's the what's the next step look like? Right. You know, you gotta be prepared for that. You know, I'm I'm thirty six years old, I'm not gonna go around on many tours anymore. Right. You know, so yeah, you got to ask yourself the hard question. So you do, you yeah, do have, point. you do have some milestones where you say at, at some point. So let's let's look at a thirteen year old kid right yep. now who's out there, who's grinding away at the range. He's putting. You know, his 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 parents are supportive. He's got family. He comes from a golf family. He belongs to a club, or the exact opposite. He's got natural talent. He's uh, perhaps in the inner city. He doesn't have a lot of support, but he's out there hitting golf balls up against mm-hmm. a you know a trash can and 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 working his game the way that they that they do. What do you tell them as far as being positive and, and helping them grow their game and, and become a professional player, which is as just as difficult as becoming a major league baseball player, just as difficult as becoming an NFL, uh, NBA, mm-hmm. the top yeah. elite is the, is the elite for a reason. But what do you say to those kids to say, look, this can happen. You can make a career of this and this can be your life for a while and you can yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I mean, you, you already, said it very well but you know the key is it just you know it's number one you have to you have to love what you do i mean you know you have because you have to you have to be okay being at the golf course for eight or ten hours a day yeah. you know you if, if you hate that that's going to be a miserable existence for one yeah. um, you my, may be uh, good at it my wife said i can't be at the golf course for eight to ten hours a day anymore i know <laughs> I know, but if you're, yeah, <laughs> she, <laughs> exactly. she shut that down a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, then, then you can't do it. That's, that's, that's your excuse. Right, yeah. You can, bl- yeah. you can blame her. I'll just host this show. That'll be, that'll be fine. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you have to do that. I mean, you can be good. You can be out there, but it's going to be a miserable existence in your life. Your, your life's just going to suffer because of it. Yeah. Um. So if they love the game, just just keep working. I mean, just and just trying to get better every day. It's not like they got to grow leaps and bounds. I remember um, talking to Bryn Crane about, you know, he was played on Oregon's college team, wasn't, you know, wasn't a world feeder, you know, and he just yeah. said his goal was to just get a little bit better every year. You know, it's just every year be better than, you know, the year before. And so just keep grinding. I mean, it doesn't matter where what background you come from. You know, yeah, just take the most of the opportunities you have, and it'll, it'll work out. And you're you're coaching right now too, aren't you? You're coaching and teaching yeah. uh, some kids. Yeah, I'm I'm getting back into it. Like I said, you know, when I took that break, I got into teaching and, and coaching. And so the golf swing is golf swing, and yep. and and developing, um, creating programs to develop players like that is is kind of always been a passion of mine. So, you know, as a maybe looking forward to the future. You know, maybe something to, you know, maybe do down the line is in trying to get back into that. So, you know, I'm trying to maybe teach a little bit more inside now that I got a little bit more downtime and, and kind of reconnect into that. So I, I've, I've got to ask this because I, I know a lot of, of people that were uh, elite athletes in high school. They were the star quarterback or they were, uh, you know, one of the top uh, tennis uh, pros in their in, or tennis players in their in their area. And then they went through college and then they just said, eh, I'm done. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm out, I'm burnt out. Yep. And, and they never, they never pick it up again. Do you find mm-hmm. that um, to be a, a sadness in, in sports in that we're starting our kids so young and they're going through this whole process and then they just say, forget it. They, they, they shut it down and they're not able to, 
to go back out there and do that because of, of their upbringing? Or do you see, do you understand that? Do you understand that feeling of just being, ugh, I'm over this. I can't do this anymore. No, I, I, I mean, I have, to me, I can never, I, I never see myself not, not being around golf or having, having it in my life. I don't, yeah. I, I, I love the game and, you know, I, I just don't see that. Um, I, that's not to say I don't have, I have friends that have played professionally and done it. And as soon as they were done, they were out, you know, yeah. never touched right. the golf club again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and they, they do get burned out. And I think a lot of it is just kind of how you were drawn to the game. You know, um, I grew up, like I said, I grew up loving it. Um, that's, that's why I was drawn to it. Um, you know, there, there's others that, you know, maybe their, maybe their parents pushed them into it and they, you know, and they got good at it and they, they enjoy that part of it, but they didn't just enjoy the, the being out there in the golf part of it. You know, you take all the competitive parts away and, and they really don't get anything out of it. Well, I'll tell you, um, I mean, that's what, what you're saying is, is resonates with us from a stick and hack perspective. Our, our goal yeah. is to bring the entertainment and the enjoyment of the game, no matter what you are, no matter how you play, if you're a professional, if you're an amateur, if you're a hunt, if you shoot 125 every time you go out, um, or, or if you are just your local club champion, like Mike Ryan, mm-hmm. pff, my partner here oh, is God. club champion. <laughs> Yeah. No, I. So Patrick, when you're sitting in, in the room with the club champion, you have to. It is. It is part of the club etiquette to announce it. You know that, right? You have to call him Mr. Club Champion. I absolutely do. M- yeah, MCC. Yeah. We call he him for does. short. No one else does. He's the <laughs> only one. He's the only, the one, only one who does it. I require that. <laughs> but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring the enjoyment and the entertainment of the game um, to, to all people. So, you know, stick and hack is, is not necessarily a score. It's more of a mentality. It's more of a, a, of a lifestyle and how you approach the game. I would call Brooks Kepka kind of a hack. You know, I mean, he's an incredible player, but the way he approaches the game is much different than a Bryson DeChambeau, who is a stick. Mm-hmm. Right. He, he has that stick right. mentality and 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 um, Brooks has more of a hack mentality. He's like, yeah, I don't practice. I don't really play. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I play when I'm on TV and that's about it. Now, some of that's bravado. Yeah. Some of that's Brooks being Brooksy. But yeah, it's still that yeah. kind of mentality. Would you say you resonate more with the stick or the hack with your approach to the game? Hmm. Probably more with the hack. Yeah, um, that a baby. Love it. I knew it. You know, I, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, the, to be, give you an example, you know, after being on the road all those weeks, you know, you think I would just want to come home and not touch a golf club. What I do, I drove up to Seattle and hung out with my buddy and we played golf every day. Right. You know what I mean? It's just like, <laughs> you know, and, and you you brought up like Bryson is, you know, would Bryson love the game if you took away the science aspect of it and he was just out there playing on a weekend and not figuring it out? Right. You know, why? maybe that's why he's drawn to the game is that just it, en- it engages the brain in certain ways. You know, I just yep. love the game. I love playing. You know, I love the. I, I love being competitive, but I can find competitiveness in in any situation. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be playing for, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. That's great. Well, it's been uh, it's been a joy to have you on the show, Patrick. Uh, Patrick Sullivan, a PGA yep. uh, golfer, a golf professional. Um, just a the, the close up questions here. These are, these are kind of, these come from our, our members. Um, and if you're not a member yet, Patrick, please become a member, stickandact.com and become yep. a member. Okay. Um, it's free. It's, it's free. free and you get free stuff. No and, and we know that you want free stuff. Okay. Yeah. We'll get you, we'll send you a hat, Patrick. Yeah. That's done. All right, um, I'm taking out of Mike's salary, but you're going to get a hat. <laughs> so it's in the negative. Yeah. Negative. Uh, <laughs> negative now. Is that what we're doing? All right. Cool. We're negative. All right. What would stick and hack members be surprised to know about the life of a professional golfer? What would surprise them about you? Not just necessarily your life, but the life of a, of a pro golfer. Uh, oh uh, man. Um, probably just the number of days we spend away from home, like mm-hmm. literally like in a row. Um, you know, they, they see, you know, on especially, especially, you know, especially 90% of the PGA Tour players that can fly on their private jet, and, you know, and yeah. be home Monday and Tuesday or whatever, and then happen in Uncle Ferry <laughs> for the most part. Um, so I think just the time, you know, away from being at your own, sleeping in your own bed. Right. All right so after golf, what do you do? So after this after is all, golf, yeah, after this is all done, what do you do? You know, just uh, come home. You know, you know, maybe come back home. And I think I would like to start uh, a development program eventually 
here in Little Rock. Um, I think we got a lot of a lot of juniors and talent here that that could use that. Um, and I think I think there's a there's a need for that, and I think there's there's an opportunity there. Um, so I'd like to kind of give juniors uh, a chance to have a very structured program, something that I didn't necessarily have, you know, and kind of had to figure out for myself, and maybe give them a little bit easier path to that, but to to maybe maybe playing at higher levels. Well, it's that that is the giving back. I mean, you look at your career and and you say if if it's all brought you all to that day where you can teach and and bring your love of the game to somebody else and to another kid, would you say that your twenty five year career was worth it? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I look back and I, I've enjoyed every minute. Yes, it's been frustrating. It's been really stressful at times, but I wouldn't do it if I didn't if I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Um, like like you know the the question I people give me is you know do you love what you do and it's a hard it's a hard thing to answer because it's you know they're thinking yeah. of it like as a perspective of they love to go play golf you know what I mean it's like yep. you know you have jobs that you know certain jobs you love but they're not not every day's easy you yeah. know and not and there's some days you just come home and you just want to quit you know but overall yes I do love what I do. You know, but I also I love the I love the challenging that times as well. Do you know my favorite thing sense? about you? Want, no, do you want to know what the favorite thing about you is for me? What's that? Watching you get in Twitter arguments with uh, <laughs> <laughs> with golf professionals <laughs> and uh, See, when you, and TV personalities. The problem when you have so Excellent. much downtime on the yeah, road is that's great. that's all there is to do. You, <laughs> You never change, Patrick. Yeah, never, never change. Never. <laughs> you 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 come at those those guys with with a vengeance. Okay, don't let them don't don't let them back back you down into a corner. That's right. right. You let I, them know I, what's I, up. I appreciate that. There, there's somebody listening right now that that thinks just the opposite. <laughs> well, then they can they can turn the channel. Peter, yeah. Peter Kessler's one of them. I'm sure. Well, look, if That's Peter cool. Kessler's listening to this, then we got bigger problems. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, baby. Uh, all right, so I follow him at Sullivan Golf on Twitter, and uh, also find him on Instagram. Uh, he is Patrick Sullivan, PGA Golf Professional. A joy and an honor to talk to you. We appreciate you making time for us here uh, on the Stick and Hack Show. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Great. All right. Good luck the rest of the season. All right, buddy. Thanks, Patrick. Thank Keep you. it up, man. All right. See you later. 